Tonight, police arresting a man accused of killing one person and injuring 12 people this morning at Tuskegee University. In the case, police say they arrested Jaquez Myrick, who was found leaving the scene of the shooting in possession of a machine gun with a conversion device. My man, this is this is tragic, man. Horrible, sad, man. Ja Jaquez Myrick. This man is a pretty much gotten a, a machine gun opening fire at Tuskegee's University's 100th anniversary homecoming. Now, this is the same school that was built by uh, Booker T. Washington, you know, with help of uh, many people, you know, including the names of George Campbell and Lewis Adams. And, you know, Tuskegee is one of the top HBCUs. And for something like that to happen, man, that's tragic. And that just lets you know how far we have fallen as as black men think about it George washington carver booker t washington these men have dedicated their life to tuskegee so many black men have dedicated their lives to make sure we get education and we've fallen back so far to where we are opening fire in a crowd of people probably didn't even hit the person you was intending to hit injured 16 people one young man unfortunately passed away they said he wasn't a student but still lost his life now you're gonna go to federal jail forever over what you know and, and and that's just the problem with us we will delete each other over the smallest thing and you know this type of stuff is celebrating our music is celebrating our movies but yet what i don't i don't understand why we the only group of people that want to do some stupid shit like this here we are over the last what maybe five or six years hbcus are finally starting to get the spotlights where people are starting to say you know hey i want my kids to go to a, a tuskegee or morehouse or i want my daughter to go to a spellman or a howard or so on and so forth but yet you got these primates wandering around they have no regard for life and because it's probably some disagreement you use a machine gun to open fire on a group of people and this is why i personally feel like we need to implement the draft again see this this young man right here he need to be in special forces somewhere again you want to open fire on people fine we can we got jobs for that in this country that pays well with good health benefits and a retirement plan you know but we got these these the, this they just running around here with with no guidance a lot of these men didn't have no fathers in their life, at least no active fathers in their life. And all you've been taught is just to open fire and just do dumb shit. Like, I don't, I, but yeah, I know a lot of y'all, like, y'all finna get mad at I say this. But yeah, you, a lot of people will read this, skip over this, won't march and protest about this, but still be crying about the election. No, we have bigger fish to fry. We have deeper issues going on, you know, and we need to resolve stuff like this to where we learn to love and respect each other and not want to open fire in a group of people at least at least you could say back then right prior to the ninth really i'm gonna say prior to this generation at least people wouldn't do stuff like that if anything you with your kids you with your loved ones you around a group of people you don't want to hurt nobody else but this this past generation they don't care who's out there and who gets hit at the same time you know so but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it honestly tell me what y'all think Give me your opinions, man. Let me know below.